Hello and welcome to this short video updating the firmware of the autopilot. Firstly we need some software and here you will see it's supplied on an SD card. We will then find the zip file. We will also need a JLink which you will see that in a few minutes. So let us find uh, the zip file and download this software, this application on the hard drive. This is to extract the files. We now need to find the right folder. I have uh, a folder all organized uh, on the software. Now extracting those files. The software is extracted. Let's find the setup file now. There's the setup file. And we're now going to put a small application on the computer. You'll note that uh, I've asked it to have an icon uh, on the desktop not in the start menu and you will see the icon in the desktop in a minute when this is complete. That's complete, let's go to the desktop and you will see the JFlash application, that the icon I've just moved, that's the file you open now check on the firmware. This is version 1.74 which we want to replace. Unscrew the case now, four screws. Very simple to unscrew that. Now open the case and find the socket on uh, the card which we will connect with the J-Link. There's the socket. Here's the J-Link with the uh, alternative connection. Turn on the uh, software on the computer and plug in the USB. Now connect the socket from the J-Link into the card. There it is fitted. And now turn on the autopilot. We now go to the software. With the software, click Options and choose Project Settings and then select CPU and then find the right CPU. That should say NXP LPC 2214. You need to find the right one. If it uh, has the wrong one, it won't work. But you will find it. Now uh, click Apply then click OK. Now uh, go to File and open Data File. Find the bin file for the 1.75 firmware. Click on that. It will ask them for the start address 0, which is the default. Just click OK. Now go to Target and down to Auto and the software will run. That's erasing the old firmware and replacing the new firmware. There that's done. Check on the machine and we'll see that the 1.75 is complete. It's as simple as that.